is this disease, and how has this pathogen persisted for so long? Typically, TB bacteria, called Mycobacterium tuberculosis, are airborne. They travel into our airways and infect our lungs. Here, immune cells called macrophages rush to the infection site, attempting to absorb and break down the bacterial invaders. In many cases, this response is enough to remove the bacteria, but in individuals with other medical conditions, ranging from malnutrition and HIV to diabetes and pregnancy, the immune response may not be strong enough to destroy the intruder. If so, Mycobacterium tuberculosis will reproduce inside those macrophages and form colonies in the surrounding lung tissue. As they infect more cells, the bacteria employ cell-degrading enzymes that destroy the infected tissue, triggering chest pain and causing patients to cough up blood. The damage to the lungs leads to oxygen deprivation. This begins a flood of hormonal changes, including a decrease in appetite and iron production. From here, microbes can spread to the skeletal system, causing back pain and difficulty moving, to the kidneys and intestines causing abdominal pain, and to the brain, causing headaches and even impaired consciousness. These symptoms produce the classic image of TB, weight loss, a hacking bloody cough, and ashen skin. This ghostly appearance earned TB the title of the White Plague in Victorian-era England. During this period, tuberculosis was considered a romantic disease because it tended to affect poverty-stricken artists and poets, those with weaker immune systems. TB's out